Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Monday's Daily Prayers. Good to be with you this morning. I hope that you're well. Um, as always, you're going to find the words in the description box below the video here. Um, and uh, as always, let's just take a few seconds to quieten our hearts and prepare ourselves uh, to listen for God's word and to pray together. We'll do that now. We say together. My help comes from the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We praise you, God Almighty, for the power you have shown in creating the world. We thank you for your love in redeeming us from sin, and in creating us anew in Christ. Grant us strength in this life to honour you, Lord God, both in worship and in witness, for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Today's psalm is Psalm 86. Hear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Guard my life, for I am devoted to you. You are my God, save your servant who trusts in you. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I call to you all day long. Bring joy to your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. You are forgiving and good, O Lord, abounding in love to all who call to you. Hear my prayer, O Lord, listen to my cry for mercy. In the day of my trouble I will call to you, for you will answer me. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, no deeds can compare with yours. All the nations you have made will come and worship before you, O Lord. They will bring glory to your name. For you are great and do marvellous deeds. You alone are God. Teach me your way, O Lord, and I will walk in your truth. Give me an undivided heart that I may fear your name. I will praise you, O Lord, my God, with all my heart. I will glorify your name forever. For great is your love towards me. You have delivered me from the depths of the grave. The arrogant are attacking me, O God. A band of ruthless people seeks my life, people without regard for you. But you, O Lord, are a compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. Turn to me and have mercy on me. Grant your strength to your servant and save the son of your maidservant. Give me a sign of your goodness that my enemies may see it and be put to shame. For you, O Lord, have helped me and comforted me. Amen. We say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. And then in our readings through the Gospel of Luke, we're at Luke 24 and verse 13. Now that same day, two of the disciples were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking with each other about everything that had happened. As they talked and discussed these things with each other, Jesus himself came up and walked along with them, but they were kept from recognizing him. He asked them, what are you discussing together as you walk along? They stood still, their faces downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, asked him, Are you only a visitor to Jerusalem and do not know the things that have happened there in these days? What things, he asked. About Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. He was a prophet, powerful in word and deed before God and all the people. The chief priests and our rulers handed him over to be sentenced to death, and they crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one who was going to redeem Israel. And what is more, it's the third day since all this took place. In addition, some of our women amazed us. They went to the tomb early this morning, but didn't find his body. They came and told us that they'd seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. Then some of our companions went to the tomb and found it was just as the women had said, but they did not see him. He said to them, How foolish you are, and how slow of heart to believe all the pro- that the prophets have spoken. Did not the Christ have to suffer these things and then enter his glory? Beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning himself. 
As they approached the village to which they were going, Jesus acted as if he were going further, but they urged him strongly, Stay with us, for it's nearly evening, the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and began to give it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he disappeared from their sight. They asked each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while we talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us? They got up and returned at once to Jerusalem. There they found the eleven and those with them assembled together and saying, It's true, the Lord has risen and has appeared to Simon. Then the two told what had happened on the way and how Jesus was recognized by them when he broke the bread. Amen. This is the word of God. We pray together before a time of quiet for our own prayers and contemplations. Creator God, out of love you made all that there is, and through the sacrificial love of your Son, you are redeeming and renewing all things. May the same Spirit which moved over the waters of creation move us to pray according to your will, cause us to love with the love of Christ, and empower our prayers in his name. We pray in silence. We continue together. Hear these our prayers, Almighty God, as we have prayed for those who are fearful and anxious, lonely and struggling, unwell in body, mind or spirit, grieving or dying. Hear us as we have prayed for those who are serving in dangerous situations, taking difficult decisions, doing new and unfamiliar jobs, volunteering and offering help. Hear us as we have prayed for those who are close and known to us and those who are far away but known to you. Hear us as we have prayed for ourselves. Hear these and all our prayers, said and unsaid for we make them in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal God, you have set before us the great hope that your kingdom will come on earth and have taught us to pray for its coming. Make us ready to thank you for the signs of its dawning and to pray and work for the perfect day when your will shall be done on earth as it is in heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord. May God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the source of all goodness and growth, pour his blessings upon all things created and upon us, his children, that we may use them to his glory and the welfare of all peoples. Amen. Amen. Thanks so much for being with us today, folks. Go in peace. Know that God goes with you. And we'll hopefully see you soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye now.